I visualize being present with you. I am there in spirit. Research shows quantum effects with remote viewing and remote healing. Vision is a function of the spirit minerals in the visual cortex. They are Bose-Einstein condensates of a dozen transition minerals. The most abundant in brain tissue are rhodium and iridium. They make up 5% of the dry weight of the brain. Four-ninths of their ordinary mass is non-local, i.e. trans-dimensional in space-time. This is how we see. The geometric projection of ordinary vision centers on the cyclopean eye. The cyclopean eye is a dominant anatomical feature of the spirit body. The assemblage point in the right thorax produces meaning from the projected images. The spirit is from the future, so the response occurs before the light enters the biological eyes. The spatial locus of the visual image is the nonius horopter. Visualization projects imagery into space-time. The superfluid spirit mineral body decouples from the bio-body suit at death. Veridical vision fills a complete sphere of vision during out-of-body experiences. Microsaccades are essential for vision. If they stop, total blindness is instantaneous. The frequency centers at about 86 hertz. The individual eye movements that produce visual responses occur at about 172 hertz. Myelin sheath is intermittent in the white matter of the brain. Nerve fibers have four segments of myelination between the thalamus and the cortex. This transduces the consciousness-associated gamma frequency to the fourth harmonic. Gamma brain waves center at about 43 hertz. The transdimensional scalar signals generated by myelin are about 172 hertz. The spirit mineral condensates receive these signals as phonons. In antiquity, 172 hertz was the dominant harmonic frequency of nature in China and Tibet. It was the metric standard during 1,000 years of peace. It was more valuable than the emperor, who only lasted for a single generation. Every spring, they made a copy to send to each province. Modern alchemists note that alchemy is impossible in a disharmonic 60 hertz field. Spirit minerals will escape by tunneling through their containers. I decided to look for a harmonic frequency that would attract the spirit mineral. I found a unique effect at 172 hertz with my right frequency generator. I discovered the history of this frequency after identifying it in my laboratory. We supply spirit minerals and other healing nutrients and phytonutrients. We identified the precise healing remedies through biocommunication. Active stress patterns produce a decrease in coherence in the body field. Effective remedies produce an increase in coherence. We call our process accelerated self-healing. It can reverse about a year of aging and degeneration in one month. I call the founding principles the clinical theory and praxis of photoenergetic regulatory medicine. This is a new method of nutritional vision therapy. Information is available at over 50 websites, including eyehealingcenter.com. We see reversal of blinding eye diseases, 
extending the field of vision therapy. This all began as a fourth year student at SUNY College of Optometry. I was president of AOSA while my father was president of OEPF. I got diagnosed with glaucoma with a prognosis of blindness in my 40s given the standard of care. Now at 68, I have full visual fields and eye health. It was a blessing to be set on this mission to end blindness. Otherwise, I would have died of a stroke in my 30s. My risk was over 99% certain based on blood test data. The database compared me to hundreds of thousands of other patients. This is the medicine of the future in European biological medicine. The reason is the test's predictive accuracy. The science behind that test is one of the foundations of my clinical theory of everything. I look forward to sharing these breakthroughs. We plan the release of over 150 botanical, nutritional, functional formulations. Our first focus will be AMD, the leading cause of irreversible blindness. Our clients often start to see restored vision between one month and three years. Individual differences depend on their constellation of underlying systemic involvements. I look forward to increasing communication with the profession and the public. This is a culmination of over 40 years of intensive R&D.